So I just wanted to talk a minute about uh, greasing bearings. We have a PDF on how to grease front bearings on like the BC-1 up to the BC-5 as they use an open bearing. But on BC-3.5 um, and up, the back bearing has a zerk fitting similar to what you see here that you have to use a grease gun in order to uh, grease the bearing. And then on the BC-5 it's the same way. Then on the BC-8 and up, front and back bearings are usually identical. This is one for a BC-15. And every two months or every 150 hours of use, whichever comes first, that bearing must be greased. And if it is, it will last for years. Unfortunately, some people think that greasing a bearing means rubbing grease on the outside here or putting their finger with grease on it on that. You've spent thousands of dollars, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars for equipment. Certainly you can afford to spend 40 or $50. Um, and there are better ones. 40 or $50 will give you a nice uh, grease gun. And the typical way to do that, we're going to show you, it's real simple. A typical grease gun comes with a uh, coupler that you have to put on the uh, Zerk fitting, which is right here, at a bit of an angle. See how I'm snapping it on? Now it's on all the way, and you can begin to grease your bearing. Um, three or four shots will grease it. If it's not on properly, like that one, or if it's already full of grease, it may come out the front telling you that uh, you're greased up as much as you need to be or your, uh, or your coupler's not working right. Then you take it at an angle again and pull it off. And you can wipe that off with a towel or what have you. There, for those that have difficulty with the typical coupler, there's a really cool coupler that they sell. It's maybe fifteen, twenty dollars or so, and it hooks onto the front of a grease gun. And you push, uh, you pull up on it like this, and it just slides right on to the uh, and snaps right onto the Zerk fitting. And then you push it down, and now you've got it sealed. And then you can pump it three or four times to grease your bearing. If after you've greased your bearing, you notice grease starting to come out the sides, uh, you'll, that indicates that you put more grease than you need to, which is no big deal. Just take a towel and wipe it off. But you need to do this every 150 hours of use or every two months, whichever comes first. So you can see plenty of videos on how to load a grease gun uh, on YouTube and a lot of better grease guns will also explain this procedure. Basically you want to unscrew the head from the grease gun, set the head down after you unscrew it, pull back and lock into place the uh, this part of the uh, grease gun, okay, and then uh, this is the cap that you pull off, the black cap, and you should have stored your uh, grease like that so that there's not a lot of air bubbles. As you can see, I didn't store it uh, properly, uh, so there might be some air bubbles. So I'm going to push that into the uh, grease gun. Once it's all the way in the grease gun, make sure I got my grease gun cocked back for it. Before I put the head back on, I want to uncap this. Just like opening the can of pop, basically. Put all the grease in there. Then make sure when you screw this back on that you thread it properly so you don't damage the uh, threads. Hopefully you can see I'm using a lens that's not very good in a small area. Okay, so you got that all done. We talked about before different types of uh, grease gun couplers. I'm going to use this fancy one that allows you to snap it in place. So I'm going to 
uh, screw it down in and then you're probably going to need a, a wrench to give it that final little uh, tightening or a pair of pliers <clears throat> and you want to tighten it nice and tight and using the regular uh, standard uh, coupler that comes with it is just fine you just got to remember with the standard couplers you have to put it on at a slight angle when inserting it into the uh, Zerk fitting, which is what that is, on the uh, bearing. The next thing you want to do is push this uh, little button in, which allows the air to come out, and then push your uh, T bar in the back all the way in. And now you can test it. And uh, you can see that pump it a few times to see if a little bit of grease is going to come out and you can see the grease is starting to come out so now you're ready to connect it to your bearing and keep in mind this is one of those uh, easy connect ones so I can just pop it in it'll snap into place and then I push down on to lock it make sure I got it in right push it down to lock it and uh, now I would just grease it. Three or four shots of grease should be plenty. If you start to get grease coming out, it means that you've got, you've definitely filled it, a little bit over filled it. So pop it off, you can wipe that off with a uh, cloth and then move on to your next one. Open it up. And this one I think has already been filled, but snap it on, pop, lock into place, press on your grease gun, and as you can see, grease is already starting to come out, so it's definitely full. And now you've got uh, your bearings greased for at least uh, two months or 150 hours, whichever comes first.